Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm Tawana Valentine with another Friday's Fun Fact at 5. So today I want to talk to you guys about your work history when purchasing a home and what that looks like. So let's get started. Fact number one, lenders are conster concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Fact number one, lenders are concerned about your work history and stability of your employment as well as the amount of money that it brings you. Fact number two, all mortgage lenders require two years of your work history or employment history. However, you do not have to be at that same job for two years. Fact number three, gaps in your employment. Although it is ideal to be with the same employer for two, two years or more, um, we don't live in an ideal world and situations happen. Um, so you, you could be out uh, for maternity leave. You could be out because you have to take care of a sick relative or a spouse. So a mortgage lender will definitely want to know why there was a gap. So just be prepared to explain to that lender why there was a gap in your employment. Fact number four, you will be required to show pay stubs as well as your 1040 tax returns. Also, you have to have at least two months worth of bank statements. So just be prepared to have two years proof of income. Fact number five, last but not least, I wanted to talk to you about self-employed entrepreneurs, however you want to say it. Ours is just a little trickier because we don't get a W-2. So, but we will have to show two years of tax returns, which to the lender, that's a screenshot uh, that gives the lender, excuse me, a screenshot um, into our income to see how it's increased uh, from year to year. And hopefully it didn't decrease, but I will say due to the coronavirus, a lot of us have experienced a decrease. So those were my fun facts for today. If you liked anything that I talked about and you want to find out more information about it, please subscribe to my channel or go to my website, TawanaValentine.com. Fill out the information and I'll set you up with a free consultation. But before I go, I want to give you an update. Uh, it was a couple weeks back, I gave you an update on VA mortgages um, and how you had to have a credit score of a 660. That score has dropped. So as of this week, anybody who's interested, who's a veteran and who qualifies for a VA loan, the score has dropped, the credit score dropped to a 640. So that may be just for this week because the credit can go up and down. So if you are one of those ones that are interested in applying for a VA loan, please contact me again. My information is below. So I'll see you next week for another Friday's Fun Fact at 5. Bye. Was that good? Yeah, that was good. Oh, that, 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 was, that was the truth? No, it was good. <laughs> that was the truth. Don't look at you. Look yeah. right here. It's like, look at the camera. Right yeah. here. I'm focused. shifty. Yeah. G. Fact number four. Okay, because that's too wordy, but I'm not. Is it, is it too wordy? Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs>